वेलकम टू माई चैनल मेरा नाम महेश है कैन यू हेरी मी गाइस प्लीज गिव मी अ मिनट इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिप्लॉय द एंटायर डेटा सेंटर फॉर सिट्रिक्स वर्चुअल एप्स एंड डेस्कटॉप इन दिस सिंगल सेशन ऑनली सो हेयर इज द प्लान लाइक वट वी हैव टू डू सो बेसिकली you will get uh, hundreds of videos for citrix basic definition that i already recorded like working and key components then <laughs> the citrix layers but in this particular session i am going to deploy the entire data center and i will try to deploy the entire components whatever the core components is required for the data centers like uh, for the citrix data center like delivery controller director studio license server store front then hypervisor then end user devices so i will try to get all these things done in this single live session only so here the plan is to create few machines like first machine will be domain controller that i already created second machine will be our citrix delivery controller and in that delivery controller what we will do we will deploy all the core components of citrix in a single machine like studio director license server delivery controller store front and then we will go with step by step means first we will configure the delivery controller then we will configure the citrix hypervisor then we will create one site and we will add delivery controller to that site then we will create master image or golden image and we will install vda agent in that master image then we will create machine catalogs then we will create delivery groups to publish the application and desktops to end user then we will configure the storefront server and finally we have to test our deployment so before that just let me check like uh, is that stream is going or or not please give me a minute stops and users then we will configure the storefront server and finally we have to test our deployment yeah right so i think my voice is clear so now basically this is a server this is a physical server that i am using and in that server what i did i have configured this particular server as a domain controller and this is my domain which is abc.com and in this particular server i have configured active directory dhcp and dns roles and i have already connected my citrix hypervisor to gen center and my citrix hypervisor is a bare metal hypervisor that i am using right now so as you can see this is my bare metal hypervisor and it is unlicensed for sure why because for education perspective we do not require to have we cannot afford the license actually it is too costly so no worry so now plan is like we will configure all those components so first uh, go to the console let me enter the password so this is my hypervisor and this is the ip address 10.101 what i have given go to the virtual machine so far there is no virtual machine configured in this hypervisor then rest of the things are the local things so now as you can see here so far nothing is configured no virtual machine so as per the plan what we will do first we have to install and configure one delivery controller then we will install few core components right so in my hypervisor what i did i already created one windows server template and i'm going to deploy one new windows server virtual machine for delivery controller with this template so 
I will let you know how to create the templates. I have already recorded multiple videos in that. I already, uh, you know, show you guys like how to create the template. So simply to create a new virtual machine from the template, simply click on the right click on the template, then click on the quick create. So as you can see, it is creating one machine for us. Click on the console. Machine is booting up. In the meantime, let me go to the properties and let me change the name to DDC. It will take a while to initialize the machine for the first time. So as per the plan, what we are doing, we, we already having that uh, domain controller in our infra. So domain controller is a very, very basic things. If you are preparing for the Citrix or, or the virtualization in VMware or <coughs> any other platform, so domain controller is basic things. If you do not know how to uh, configure the domain controller, please let me know. I will guide you how to do that. Now, what I did, I created one virtual machine with Windows Server 2019 operating system. And now we have to join this machine into our domain. So first let me log in here in this machine with local administrator now. So I logged in. Let's see how it works. So as you can see, now this machine is getting IP address from my DSCP scope. Let me show you my DSCP scope. Go to your tools, click on the DSCP. Maximize this. IPv4. Then your scope. Address list. So as you can see, this machine is getting 10.50 IP address from my scope. So now what I have to do, I have to join this machine into my domain first. So let me make it full screen so that it is visible to you now simply go to the computer name click on change let me name it as ddc for delivery controller and my domain which is abc.com so that is a simple thing i am doing right now i am just joining the machine into my domain now it will ask for the domain credentials so let me enter it and after that, this particular machine, it will be in our domain. So as you can see, machine is in our domain now. Click OK, close this and restart the machine. So machine is rebooting now. Let's wait for a while. Okay, so as you can see machine, it is rebooted now. Now let me log into this machine with the domain admin user account. So this is my domain admin account. Let me enter the password. Perfect. So now this machine is into our domain. Now what we have to do, 
so guys uh, in my case i'm using uh, like you know uh, citrix hypervisor or gen server as an hypervisor right but uh, in production or wherever you are working you might get vmware as a hypervisor or hyper v as a hypervisor so operations will be quite similar but you will found there will be some gui difference like you will get some options here and there right but functionality it should be same only difference uh, with uh, <laughs> the gui uh, kind of things only like the graphic display whatever the visuals you are getting over there right so now what i have to do i have to mount citrix virtual apps and desktop iso media here this pc install and run the iso media click yes let me maximize this so that you can see so in the beginning as you can see we are getting two options here like either we can uh, configure this delivery controller uh, to publish virtual applications and we can publish this also to publish virtual application and desktop both right so in our case what we have to do we have to learn both the things right so I am going with the second option. Why? Because we have to learn how to publish application and desktop both, right? So, click on start. So now, what we have to do? We have to configure this as a delivery controller as per the plan, right? So, here is the presentation, right? So, right now, what we are doing? We have to configure this as a delivery controller, right? So, simply select the delivery controller so now as usual we have to accept the license accept it click on next so now what, what we have to do we have to configure this as a delivery controller for sure but uh, in addition of that we are going to install few more core components on the single machine itself like studio director and license server why because we are running a uh, short of hardware resources right so in production you will get a separate virtual server or physical server for each and every component right but we cannot uh, for testing perspective we cannot effort that thing right so simply let's uh, click on next just give me a minute i think my mouse is malfunctioning now okay so now we will also use this machine as a database only and we are going to deploy sql express and you will get uh, that particular package uh, in this setup only so simply click on next and the second uh, one that is windows uh, remote assistant feature basically this is, uh, is used by the city director for troubleshooting and shadowing purpose for vdi uh, users click on next Oh ho, this machine has less than recommended minimum. Oh ho, 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 ho. Okay, guys, so what I did actually, I forgot to increase the memory of this machine, right? So that is the only reason why we are getting that pop up. So right now, just uh, click on I understand, and later on, I will increase uh, the memory of this machine to at least 6 GB, okay, for smooth functionality. So click on I understand so this will be the important firewall port numbers uh, that will be going to open at the time of the installation simply click on next so let's wait for it 
my machine is running on actually you know, this is a summary like what we have selected like uh, the installation directory that is C drive so ticks, uh, program file set ticks, the prerequisites which is required uh, before installing the core components like .NET 4.8, runtime 2017, local host cache, then SQL server for database perspective, then multiple things are there. And after that, core components are like delivery controller, studio, and director. And features, what we have selected, that is Windows Remote Assistance Tools, right? So click on install. So now it is start initialize the installation. So in the meantime, what I can do, Just give me a minute, guys, while installation is going on. Let me uh, go to the properties. And what I have to do from here, I have to increase the memory, otherwise my installation will be slow. So right now options are grayed out, but uh, I can do it 6144, that is equivalent to 6 GB of RAM. And uh, let me click OK. So changing the memory will cost, oh, 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 I do not want to reboot it right now. I made that mistake. Okay, right now, click no and i will increase uh, the memory later on okay in the meantime i'm getting some latency i'm not sure why it is on my remote computer so let me minimize this I'm not sure what is happening here. Let me check the hardware collection. Mm, it's quite uh, good actually. 28% CPU and 40. I'm not sure why it is responding like a hell. No worries. Close that for now. So installation is going on. Let's wait for this installation to complete. And then we'll continue for the next stuff. Okay, so guys, as you can see, now it's asking to reboot the machine. So click on close and reboot the machine. It will automatically uh, reboot it. Let's wait for this. So. 
okay so machine is rebooted now now what we have to do we have to log in to the machine with the same user account from which i have initiated the installation and let's wait for it it will automatically resume the installation So as you can see, installation is already uh, resumed, right? So it will take uh, maybe up to 20 to 25 minutes to complete the installation. Till then, let's wait. So again, it will take a while. So we have to wait only why? Because right now SQL Server installation is going on. So it will take some time.
it will take a while why because we are installing multiple components on a single machine right and i also forgot to increase the memory of this machine to you know at least 6 gb right now it's operating on 2 gb right so installation can be done but it will be slow but no worries we can increase the memory after the installation So as you can see database installation is going on right so it will take a while to complete the installation. Okay, the machine needs to be started. So let's restart it. Our SQL installation is almost done now. Now it will take a while to install uh, the few core components. okay so machine is restarted now now simply log into the machine with the same user account from which i have initiated the installation and it will automatically uh, resume the installation guys we have multiple things to do right so as per the presentation i've already you know <coughs> I, I i already have the hypervisor right which is it hypervisor now we will configure this hypervisor with our delivery controller when we will create our site right then after we will create master image then machine catalogs then delivery group so let me go back to okay so sql installation is done now it is installing few more predictive sites then it will install the core components
based on core components. Okay, so I think prerequisite installation has been done as you can see, right? And now within 5 to 10 minutes, it will install the core components. And then we are good, we will good to create our first brand new Citrix site. So please uh, be there with me only. And we have to cover it. The entire lab setup today itself within next uh, two to three hours. Guys, it will take a while, maybe up to five minutes. So I will be back. Okay.
okay so guys it is almost done now now it is just initializing the components and then after we will be good to create our first static site Mm hmm it is almost done taking some time why because i forgot to increase the memory of this virtual machine and i initiated the installation right so as you can see memory is almost uh, utilization is 90 percent now right and cpu is also very high so i will increase uh, some more cpu and memory to this machine later on but uh, Till then, we have to wait. So let's wait for it.
<laughs> okay so in the meantime let me go back there and now after this what we have to do like uh, after core component uh, <coughs> installation uh, we will add our hypervisor to citrix site that uh, we will do but uh, then after what we have to do we have to create one master image or golden image right so for the same what i can do in the meantime okay i think this already has been done right completed now so we do not want any diagnostic right now click on next and do not launch the studio and check that this box why because i have to shut down the server and i have to increase the hardware resources for this machine so i am going to shut it down right now so machine is powered off go to the properties and increase the memory to 6144 that will be 6 gb it is completely fine now we can power on the machine so machine is booting up let me log into machine now we are good to launch the citrix studio for the first time click yes so basically what we have done in the single machine we install director we install studio i scout then license server in a single machine along with the core component we have already installed uh, we have installed the database itself here i think something went wrong here right just because of low memory resources i cannot find sql instance in this machine so let me check okay sql server agent is here sql server is here services are, are running and up okay let's see i got one notification fail to attach the storage uh, okay let me dismiss that
and we do not require uh, that uh, iso media anymore so we are good to eject it so i ejected it and in the meantime this is my hypervisor gen server 01 and <coughs> this is the ip address right so we must have to add our hypervisor to the delivery controller right for uh, automatic operations so this is a Citrix studio our site is not configured yet so this is a kind of first look you will get when you install the core components of Citrix right so we have uh, three options here like uh, to create a fresh site to deliver an application or uh, to deliver application and desktop to the users second option it's for the physical machines right if you have any physical machine in your infra and you have to publish that particular machine to end user over the cloud or over the internet so you can use that option and third option it is to scale up your deployment means if you already having any existing delivery controller in your organization so and if you want to connect to that particular uh, existing one delivery group uh, sorry delivery controller so in that case you can connect this one to the existing one for the load balancing right so right now we do not have any uh, existing delivery controller so we are going to deploy the new one so i am going with the first option now it is asking for the site name right so site name it could be your office location it could be your country location your region location right so in my case i am sitting here in indore madhya pradesh so i am entering indore as a location or site name it will be considered as a indore site for me right so simply click on next now in Citrix, we are having three database site monitoring and logging right so whatever the configuration we have done into the site all those logs will be there inside database into the monitoring database uh, like uh, the utilization of hardware and other resources all those kind of logs will be there and logging will be it will monitor the you know <coughs> logging details like uh, uh, when users logging in when users logging of whatever the activities they are performing even it's for you know Citrix administrator itself only like you know what admin is uh, performing what kind of activities into the infra right so we talk about the location so here it is mentioned like a local host why because we have installed the SQL Express in this machine only so that is the only reason why it is uh, <coughs> showing local host but uh, if you already have any separate SQL server in your, in your organization so in that case what you have to do you have to replace the local host with the IP address or host name of that particular SQL server right and SQL Express is our instance name like SQL instance name so that is fine we will go with the default one click on next so now it will validate the database It will create three database it will validate the sql server whatever uh, like sql express that we have installed so now as you can see it has been validated now so now it is asking for the license server address right so in our, in our case in our case what we did we have installed the license uh, manager on our local machine itself so it is a local host and if you have any separate license uh, server installation in that case you can replace the local host with the ip address or host name of this particular machine right so uh, by default you will get 30 days free uh, trial license from Citrix. you can download the iso files from Citrix official website you will get 30 day style license for free but if you are having any existing license file so you can use that option and uh, you have to browse for the lic file 
which is given by Citrix, and you can upload it over here, right? And if you have your account, you can license access codes, you can enter the access code, and you can allocate license, right? But for us, 30 days trial is more than enough to learn the things, right? So simply click on next. Now it is asking for the hypervisor connections, right? So in our case, my hypervisor is Citrix hypervisor, as I already show you, like this say IP address 10.101. So I'm going to add that hypervisor into my Citrix site. So let me enter HTTP colon double slash 192.168.10.101. This is the IP address of my hypervisor. You can also enter the host name. Now let me type the username for the hypervisor. So the default user for hypervisor is root. Let me enter the root password and connection name. So I can enter it like gen server hyphen 01. It should be identical, right? Why? Because it is my hypervisor 01 only. So here we are using uh, Citrix MCS services right now or Citrix provisioning services we will uh, use later on. So we'll <coughs> go with the first option. Next. Now it will validate uh, the connection to the hypervisor. So connection has been validated. Now we have two options here to manage the storage, right? So either we can use the local storage or if you have any iSCG or shared storage in your network, you can use that. But right now, we do not have any shared storage or network storage, right? So we will go with the local storage of hypervisor. So in my hypervisor, I have allocated like, you know, uh, 500 GB of SSD. So that it's uh, completely fine for uh, to create the test lab. Click on next. Now it is asking for a storage selection. So we are quite good like uh, our OS will be on the local storage and our temporary files also will be on the local storage. Click on next. So now it is asking for the network name. So it should be identical like uh, my connection, my hypervisor is gen server 01. So I can name it like gen hyphen n for network hyphen 01. So that particular network adapter is now pointing to my gen server 01 so that kind of naming convention you can use click on next additional feature we are not going to uh, <coughs> configure every publishing right now it will uh, we will cover that later on simply click on next so these are the basic things basic configuration like what we have selected the site database like monitoring uh, site and logging that is our delivery controller which is ddc.abc.com abc.com is my domain a license server is also on the same machine that is a hypervisor connection why because we have added the hypervisor to our site and the os selection we have selected the local storage click on finish so in some time it will create a fresh site for you guys Now, in the meantime, 
our site uh, <coughs> it is being created right so in the meantime what we have to do next we have created the site we have added the hypervisor to site right so now we have to create one master image or golden image right from which we have to create the machine catalogs right so for the same i am going to create a new vm and in that vm we will install the vda agent so okay our site has been created now as you can see this is a first look of uh, the studio so machine catalog if we talk about the machine catalog okay that uh, particular things we will uh, i will let you know after this why because now we have to create a new virtual machine uh, for the uh, you know golden image and master image we have to create that right so to create the same again i am going to uh, copy my template to create and i have created this machine let me name it like uh, master like uh, not that uh, server 2k19 hyphen m for master image or i can make it like uh, just name it master image mst let name it like 2k19 hyphen master image or golden image right so that will be booting up and again the same thing i have to do what to put that machine into my domain so this is our studio i will explain each and everything in studio first let me configure that uh, master image or golden image why it will take some time right so let me go to the local server first join that server in our domain by the same name like uh, svr 2k19 iphone mst domain will be abc.com so it uh, like uh, it is not necessary to join that machine into the domain right but uh, you can install vda agent directly but it is good like you know if you want to uh, like uh, use single user account and you should be like domain admin right so if you have that kind of access you can use the domain account so let's wait for this machine to be in our domain perfect click okay again okay close that and restart the machine okay so <laughs> in the meantime let me explain you what is that so basically machine catalogs are the collection of physical or virtual machines right whatever the machines you have to publish to your end user and basically this is a collection of physical or virtual machines which is known as the machine catalog and whatever the machine catalogs you have you can publish those machine catalogs or you can restrict uh, those machine catalogs to your end users with the help of delivery group right so that i will let you know how to create a delivery group into the applications if you have to publish few applications to end user you can create the application groups or you can directly publish the applications to the end users into the policies like uh, <coughs> it is quite similar to active directory policies like uh, what we use in the active directory server or the group policies right so you can configure the policies uh, like setix policies uh, with that console logging as i told you logging is a database so you can see this is my username like ms185426 right so whatever the activities i have performed here right and whatever the results all those logs will be there only in the same way if you have hundreds of citrix administrator or what guys are performing the operations in the infra all those logs will be there 
so as you can see i have created i have added the logging site i have created the full desktop deployment all those logs are here only into the controllers you will get uh, the delivery controller like how many de delivery controllers whatever the delivery controllers count you have you will get all those count here only into the hosting part you will get uh, the hypervisor details licensing will be your license server details right now we are on free track right so that is good storefront we have not configured so far we will configure the storefront later on so now go back to the master machine it is rebooted now let me log into that machine with my domain credentials so it will take a while so basically why we create the master image right so for an example if you have got a new uh, joiners or new project right and for uh, that particular requirement you have to deploy hundred of machines for hundred of users right so you have two ways like either you can create hundred virtual machines manually you have to install all the required software whatever is needed to end users right you have to install the operating system application then join all those machine into the domain multiple uh, manual stuff you have to perform right so we cannot <coughs> do that for hundred of users right it will be time consuming and there will be a chances of human error right so that is the only reason why we will create master image like once we create a master image from that master image we can deploy hundred of desktops to end users with the single clicks within a five or ten minutes okay so basically we have to <laughs> publish both the things for uh, our end users like desktop and application both right so what i can do now i have to install few basic applications in this machine for an example you can consider like we are uh, publishing this machine for end user right so what i can do let me pick uh, simple applications like winrar and uh, do i have any other small application <laughs> okay let's pick up that free version of uh, office that is wp ps office in production you will get thousand of applications but we are just installing those application for testing perspective and we will perform and we will publish the applications to end users so first let's install the winrar you can use any application whatever you need or you want to perform right publish and now let install that kingsoft uh, like office it is a free uh, where version of office so i'm going to install it click on next accept the license again next 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 install it so our installation has been done now we have two applications for uh, like uh, testing purpose so that is good so let me delete the installer we do not require that installer anymore <coughs> 
now what we have to do we have to install uh, that vda agent in this machine so what is vda agent so basically vda agent is responsible to make communication between any physical or, or virtual machine to the delivery controller so to make this machine as a master image what we have to do we have to install the vda agent in this machine so again the iso media will be the same for all the components again what we have to do we have to uh, like uh, deliver both the things like application and desktop both so i will go with the second option but if you have to create only an application server so you can uh, go with the first option but we have to uh, learn both the things so click on start now what we have to do we have to install the vda agent right so click on this So what we are using right now, we are using Citrix MCS services, click on next. So VDA uh, like uh, delivery agent installation is must. So you cannot uncheck that one. But if, if this is the optional thing. If you want to install the Citrix workspace app in this machine, you can select it. Simply click on next. But right now it is not required for us. So these are the some uh, basic components like uh, some add-ons things are here like Citrix files for Windows or for the Outlook, but we will go with the default one. Why? Because we do not have any Outlook and other stuff installed so far, right? In our uh, master image, simply click on next. Now it is asking for the delivery controller address, right? So in my case, it's ddc.abc.com. In your case, it may be different. Click on test connection. Why it is not connecting? My DDC is powered on. Okay. Let me check if firewall is blocking. Firewall is off. Test again. what is the status of firewall here okay in this machine that firewall is on so why it is on actually it is already in my domain and in my domain i've already disabled the firewall so let me try one thing maybe group policy is not applied on this machine Let me try to force the group policy update. It is completed. Let me check. Okay, now it is off now. Let's see. Hmm, not getting reply from the delivery controller, right? So let me try to ping with IP address. Mm hmm, it is getting ping with the IP address, but not with the host name, right? So <laughs> what could be the reason okay we have some troubleshooting now so first let me check the ip address of this one what ip address it is getting it's 10.50 for my ddc right but uh, when i'm pinging with the host name
but uh, when i'm pinging with the host name it is routing to 10.51 right which is not correct i think there might be something needs to be changed in my let me refresh here so 10.50 is my ddc right so there might be something wrong with the dns settings let me connect to my dns server forward lookup zone hmm okay here it is routing to 10.52 right which is not correct so let me delete this entry let me create new entry like uh, tdc and it should route to dot one six eight dot ten dot fifty right so let me check one more time ten dot fifty correct create a ptr record add host perfect now it looks fine now go back here and again let's try to ping with the host name still 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 routing to 10.51 okay let me restart my dns server okay let me try with the ip address 192.168.10.50 okay ip address not supported so we have to fix that uh, dns issue first right so let me try to ping it from here ping space ddc sorry uh, ddc dot abc dot com perfect from my domain controller it is getting ping but uh, from this machine no right so let's uh, let's check with the network adapter let me disable this and let me enable this Hmm. Okay, guys. So I think let me try one more time. I think I'm having multiple DNS records here, right? So let me delete all those garbage. And for DDC, I have make it uh, 10.50, right? I think I have to reboot that machine one more time. We can do it later, but uh, we have to do it right away, right? So, I have to restart it. I logged off actually. So, let's wait. We have got some troubleshooting guys, which is good. Now we have to crack that. What is the issue that we are facing? Issue with the DNS only for sure. 
DN is, is pointing that uh, like host name to the wrong IP address for this machine, right? So let me restart the machine. But from my domain controller, it is routing to the correct IP address, which is 10.50, right? Huh. Okay. And from DDC, let me check where it is routing. So with the host name here, also it is correct, but I'm not sure why it is showing IPv6. Okay. In the meantime, as I made some changes in my DNS, let me restart my DDC as well. Okay guys, so now let me log in to this machine again. Actually, when I restored my older lab, na, so I forgot to remove the, like uh, these older DNS records. And I used the same host name, like which uh, <laughs> record was already there. So <coughs> my server is confused now, like, with IP address, we are getting ping, but uh, with host name, it's routing to some other IP address. Why? Because there was some wrong, wrong entries in DNS server. Okay, right now it is good. Now it is pointing to the correct IP address, which is 10.50 after the reboot. Okay, so now what we have to do, we have to do it again, right? So, I think we already installed the application, right? Windar and Office, okay, no worries. Mm -hmm. Simply install and run your media. Click yes. In the meantime, let me log into the delivery controller itself. So, it's always good to have some troubleshooting, right? So. These are the basic kind of things that we may skip sometimes, right? So <laughs> we have sorted out the issue. Now, as usual, we have to install the VDA agent. And we have to uh, deploy uh, this using uh, MCS services. Click on next. We have to install VDA agent. Click on next. Next. Now again, it will ask for the delivery controller, tdc.abc.com. And this time it should connect. As you can see, here is the green tick, click on add. So in a similar way, like uh, you will get uh, more than two or uh, 
two or more delivery controller in your production right so whatever the delivery controller you have you have to add all those delivery controllers into that particular vda agent why because for redundancy perspective means if uh, one delivery controller goes down in that case uh, like operations will be continued with the second one right so right now we are having only one so we have to go with the one delivery controller only click on next again next firewall port numbers you can remember next the summary what we have selected vd agent and these are the prerequisites to install the vd agent click on install <coughs> so again it will take a while to complete the installation and guys so we are good now why because uh, as per the plan we are here right and we almost completed this one right after this we, we just have to create machine catalog delivery group and store front server then our data center will be ready and we, and we will test the deployment okay so it will be a lengthy session now no worries i was planning to you know complete uh, the entire lab uh, in a single session right so now i got the chance to complete it so again that installation uh, it will take some time so please be there with me It will take nine minutes more right so guys what we will do to save our time like uh, okay let me create one more machine with that template and we will configure this machine as a storefront server right i'm just creating this machine right now just name it like uh, storefront okay and that's it why because you know it will take some time in the meantime i can configure the storefront server to publish that uh, the <coughs> resources to our end users because we cannot set ideal right so so right now basically what i am doing here as per the plan after a golden image we have to create machine catalogs and delivery group then we have to configure the storefront server right so uh, from the master image we will create the machine catalog and we will configure the delivery groups right but to publish that uh, the things to end users we will be requiring the storefront server right so what i'm doing here right now uh, i'm waiting for video installation 
then we will create those things but parallelly i am installing the store fund as well okay so let's go back here so this is my store fund now in a same way what i have to do i have to join the machine into my domain so store fund is nothing uh, it is just a simple web page for end user right user can access the web page and then user have to enter the credentials and user will get access to the resources whatever the application or the desktop is published to end user right so let me join the machine into domain so let's name it like uh, i'm giving here and the host name like storefront is for sf iphone 01 domain is uh, abc.com let me enter the username and the password In the meantime let's check the status here what is going on okay it is uh, asking to restart close this and what about your restore fund okay it is also into our domain now restart now this as well so our master image in our master image like a .NET installation has been done Let's wait for this machine to boot up. In the meantime, storefront is also booting up. okay so our storefront is booted up let me log into storefront with my domain user account now and same i have to do for the master image but uh, this is still booting right so let's wait for this okay let's wait and we'll see okay our master image is also booted up again let me log in with the domain credentials and store so basically as i told you storefront is just a web page right so we can mount the same iso media which is citrix virtual and desktop and <coughs> after that we have to install the storefront role here right so storefront a uh, role is nothing it will just install that web server iis role into the server right and it will help to create a web page so that installation uh, it will automatically uh, going on we have nothing to do here but in storefront we have to install one role for storefront right okay as you can see that installation is automatically comes up go back to storefront 
again we have to uh, like uh, publish both the things app and desktop select this one so we have done the delivery controller we have installed the vd agent director all those components are already installed right oh why what is happening here guys there is something wrong it says like incompatible os for storefront why it is let me it is the same operating system that we are what we are using right yes hmm. okay let me try to launch this again Ah, <laughs> this time it is showing now. Nah? Okay, click on uh, uh, like uh, city storefront. So just accept the license, click on next and it will install the IAS role in that server. That's it. Next and click on install. In the meantime, let's go back here. Okay, again it is asking to restart. Click on close, it will automatically restart the machine. Okay, in the meantime, at the storefront site, as you can see, it is installing the web server IS role here. This machine is also booting up. Okay, this is also booting up. Okay, still booting up. Let's wait. Okay, let me log into this uh, machine.
it will automatically initiate the installation for VDA agent. In the meantime, let's check the storefront. Uh, it is installing. Okay, installation has been done. Click on finish. Click on yes. Now we just have to configure our storefront and our master image. It is also almost done. Okay guys, so as you can see, like uh, right now it is installing the core component, which is virtual delivery agent. And our storefront installation is also done. So what we can do, we can log into the storefront server and we have to create one storefront site. Ideally, we should have to create uh, this site in the last, right? Here after the delivery group, but uh, it is quite okay like we are doing this in parallel okay just to save the time that's it so let me check here still installing the video agent so in the meantime just click on start and we have installed the storefront tool here let me maximize this you can see the storefront tool here click on it Click yes. So now we have to configure the storefront as per our requirement. We have to connect our store to our delivery controller, right? To publish the application with the help of the delivery group. So let's wait. Why? Because it is initializing the application for the first time. What is going here? Here video installation is going on. Almost uh, four minutes remaining. In the meantime, let me launch the studio as well. Let's go back to storefront. So as you can see now, it is asking uh, like we are having two options here, like uh, to create a new deployment or if uh, we are having any existing storefront server, we can add that server as well into that right? So right now we do not have any existing server, right? So simply click on create new deployment. 
Now that will be a base URL of our storefront server, like the host name of this machine, which I have given, that is SF-01, which is completely fine. If you want to change the base URL, you can change it. But for us, it is fine. Simply click on next. It will take some time here. In the meantime, go back to the master image uh, that is still installing. And studio is getting launched. It is launched here. In the meantime, let me check my hypervisor resources. So as you can see, currently 13 GB memory is used and I'm having 18 GB available memory, right? So that is good enough. It is creating the store base URL and that installation is also in progress. We cannot interrupt that installation progress, so let's wait for it. But as we cannot set ideal, so that is the only reason why I created a storefront server in parallel. Okay. So our, uh, let's go to the storefront. It is getting launched. Let's paste, uh, wait for it. OK, so here our video installation has been done. Now it is just initializing the component. So it may take a couple of minutes only. So now let's configure the storefront. So this is how storefront works. This is the end user. In end user device, we have to uh, install the Citrix receiver as an application. Then user has to browse the uh, web browser. In that web browser, uh, user must have to enter the uh, store address and then user have to enter the credentials, right? So click on next. Now it is asking for a store name. So in my case, my storage in law you can name it anything as per your requirement or site location next now it is asking for a for the delivery controller like which delivery controller should be there so we are having only one delivery controller right so let me name it like ddc01 i am having single uh, delivery controller and let me add here like ddc dot abc dot com so whatever the resources we will publish through that uh, delivery controller all those will be there and transport type we have to use http why because we do not have any any ssl uh, certificate for now for https so it is completely fine for testing click ok click on next we do not want any remote access uh, to uh, uh, enabled why because we need only authorized users to access 
the infra or the internal users so do not check that box click on next so now it is asking for the authentication method so we are good with the username and password but apart from that you can use a smart card you can use like saml for like kind of you know uh, with otp or token kind of thing so those will be additional with some additional charges but for testing username and password is completely fine next enable the urls and click on create so now it is creating the store for us it will take a while in the meantime let's go back to the server so as you can see our master image has been done now uncheck that box click on next and it will ask to restart the machine so restart it click on finish so our master image has been done our store front is almost done now what we have to do as per the plan we have to create the machine catalogs then we have to create a delivery group so store front we already completed and after these two things we have to test the deployment and that is done right so let's go back to the master image it is just uh, rebooting the machine so this is our master image now with that master image we can create hundreds of machine in a single click right so that is the image main point why we created the master image i will let you know how to create those okay so our master image has been done so in that master image we have nothing to do now with that master image we have to create the machine catalogs from the studio right so what i will do i will simply shut down the master image why because this is not required now let's go back to the store front so as you can see our store front has been created click on finish if you want to test your store front you can click here test site and it will open the url by default in microsoft uh, like internet explorer let me copy that url and i can open this url in my local machine mm -hmm. i'm unable to paste it over here okay i will copy it from rdp like it's sf01 citrix indoor bav hive one okay so make it uh, sf-01 perfect so this is our store front this is the basically uh, this is the url for our end users let me bookmark this like store front 
and detect receiver i already have a receiver installed and this is the main page for our end users right so if i log in here like uh, abc backslash with my user account only <coughs> so you will see right now there is no application and desktop is available for me right so now we have to publish some application to user finish this our storefront has been done close this now master image let me shut down the master image now go back to the studio we already created the site right okay so now from the studio only we can create multiple machine catalogs with the master image right so i will let you know how to do that so our, and this machine is uh, powered off store front is up so now we have to create uh, for an example uh, like we have to create a machine catalog for for an example it users okay click on a create machine catalog this is the introduction click on next now if you are using windows 10 machine you can select single session os but we are using windows server machine so windows server machines are compatible to manage the multiple user sessions at a time and if you have any physical machine you can select third option right so for windows server machine this one for windows 10 windows 7 windows 8 machine this one so we will go with the first one click on next <coughs> so our machines are power managed so select the first option and we are using Citrix mcs services right so deployment machine are using mcs click on next now it will automatically detect the master image right so we have created that master image whatever we have installed in that master image now it will create a copy uh like a similar copy for the end users right click on next now it is asking like how many virtual machines do you want to create from that master image right you can enter 100 and you will get 100 of machine uh, will be created within a minute uh, not within a minute but uh, in next 5 to 10 minutes right but we do not have uh, that much of hardware so that we can create 100 machines right so I'm going to create one machine only. I'm going to create one machine only and now it is asking the memory for that machine. So 2 GB is fine for testing purpose. Click on next. So now it is asking to select the OU, right? So I have already created one OU by name virtual machine. In virtual machine, we are using MCS. So I am um, I have already created one folder with MCS. So now it is asking for the um, uh, like uh, machine naming name, right? So account uh, naming scheme. So let's enter like uh, as we are creating this for IT. So select IT hyphen. Um, just make it uh, IT hyphen as hash hash in the short form. Okay. So with that naming scheme, what it will do, it will create first desktop, first desktop by name IT-01 that will be a host name, right? So if we are creating creating the hundred of machines, right? So what it will do, the first machine host name will be IT-01, IT-02, IT-03, IT-04 and so on till IT-100, whatever the count we have selected, right? so this is how it works means it will automatically create the host name as per the naming scheme and it will automatically join all those machines into the domain as per the naming conventions okay simply click on next now it is asking for the machine catalog name so let's name it uh, like uh, information technology
right and you want uh, to you know if you want to <coughs> provide some description you can add it like for in the users or any location click on finish so now what it will do it will create the machine catalog it will copy the master image and it will automatically deploy one machine into our hypervisor right means here in some time you will get one machine with it01 host name it will be there okay let's wait for it right now it is just copying the master image means that master image it is copying right now and then it will automatically deploy this much one machine here with the host name it01 right and same active directory computer account you will get here in the path i have selected mcs right so right now nothing is here right but in some time you will get uh, <coughs> the computer account here you have nothing to do it will automatically copy the master image automatically join those machine into the domain each and everything will be automatic in the same way you can create hundred of machines so right now it is copying the master image in some time you will see one machine will be there with the host name it01 what we have given the naming uh, conventions or naming scheme So as you can see, <clears throat> now it is preparing something, the information technology machine catalog, what we have selected here in studio, right? So it is preparing and then in some time, it will create one machine with host name IT01, right? So if I refresh this here, right now, it is not added to the uh, like active directory, right? So let's wait right now it is still copying and it is preparing right so let's wait for this to get complete and in some time that preparation will it will change to the it01 like right now it is preparing the machine Let me try to refresh this again. Right now, this machine is not joined to our domain. It will take a while. If I click on the console now, you will see what it is doing. It might be uh, like it is powering on the machine. As you can see, automatically it is created one machine here. In a same way, you can create thousands of machines over there, right? So now it is shutting down the machine and it will create some ou account here right now not created but it will be there soon and in some time it will like uh, replace that preparation to the host name what we have selected that is it01 right As you can see, it's still it is in progress. Now it is creating the computer account in Active Directory. That has been done, creating machines. You can see now it is changed to the IT01. And now if I try to refresh here, you can see one computer account is there with the same name IT01, right? So we have deployed one machine successfully with automation, right? 
we have not installed any application whatever the application we installed in the master image now all those will be there only so now <coughs> sorry <coughs> what we did we have created one machine catalog and we have installed few applications in it right but now we have to publish the applications or desktop to users right so for the same we have to create the delivery group so now create a delivery group for what to publish this machine catalog so create a delivery group click on next so we have uh, one machine catalog here for it so that is automatically highlighted click on next now what we have to do we have to restrict that particular uh, machine catalog to specific users means we do not want to publish each and every machine to everyone right so i am going to restrict that particular machine to myself only like with particular user account that is done click on next now it is asking if you want to publish any applications right yes you have to publish applications from start menu it will automatically power on the machine what we have created this machine it will automatically power on the machine and it will show whatever the applications we have installed in this machine so let's wait for uh, this machine to comes up and in some time you will get the applications whatever we have selected or oh, sorry whatever we have installed for end users it is now waiting uh, for the machine to now it is waiting for the machine to get registered with the delivery controller as you can see it's still booting up so it will take some time it is booting up for the first time now so that is the only reason okay perfect it has been booted up now let's check here waiting for the machine to register with the delivery controller it may take a while You do not have to log into this machine it is not required actually if you want you can do that but it is not required okay so machine is registered now as you can see we have installed these are the default application which was already there right but uh, we have installed few applications so let's publish two application to myself like kings of spreadsheet that we installed and we installed windar as well right Windar, click OK. Now, click on Next. Uh, now it is asking like, do you want to uh, like uh, publish desktop to this user, right? Yes, I have to publish a desktop. So this desktop name, I can name it for like uh, IT desktop. and again i have to restrict it to the specific users right now i am restricting uh, restricting it to the a single user only that is my user account right click on next next just name it like uh, for it users click on finish so now what i did i have published two applications and one desktop 
to myself right as you can see two applications are here and one desktop is here it is published to the ms185426 that is my user account so now if i go here so now what we are doing as per the plan <coughs> we are testing the deployment right whatever those configuration we have done now now it's the final time to test so simply go to the storefront let me sign out let me log in again and let me enter the password perfect application you can see two applications are published to myself the user account is same mahesh singh and one desktop is published to me right so first let's try to open the application open it <coughs> so these are the demo applications only but in production you will get thousand of applications right so in some time that spreadsheet you can see it is opening now this application is opened for me right i can perform any operations whatever i have to perform let's close this in a simple way let's try to open winrar as well so you can see winrar has been opened so as i told you these are the demo applications right now it's time to launch the desktop for the user this it is it desktop right double click so all those desktops like it is launching the desktop for me it will automatically log in right you can see i am into my desktop now <coughs> and here you can see the username mahesh singh right so all those applications are getting published with that machine catalog that is it01 right so guys if you can see here into i start we have installed this in the in the master image those things are there right and also we have installed winrar so winrar is also there we have published both the applications and we have tested the deployment and in upcoming sessions i will let you know how to update the machine catalogs right how to publish the new applications to end users as per the requirement right so in that particular session i will cover each and everything the basic things in a single session you will get from beginning to the last like testing we have successfully tested the infra right so i hope you got the things whatever i explained to you guys so this is done for today thank you very much if you like if you get some knowledge from my sessions please do subscribe share and like my videos thank you very much guys have a nice day bye bye